Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page four, page four. So what you see here is from the 8x8 collection pack, and I cut around this pocket because it is the cutest thing on the whole page. So I really wanted to emphasize that part of the design. So I first started by trimming around the pattern, and then I just used this as a template um, to make the black flap and then also I used it as a template to make the reverse side so it's pretty straightforward um, start by cutting this out and then you're gonna follow that with creating two pattern papers using that as a template <clears throat> that's so cute I hope everybody's doing well. Okay. <clears throat> So usually I install the flap before I do that. So let's go ahead and do that. So of course this flap is eight inches wide and then you're gonna trim around it. Um, and it comes down, the tip of this is about at six inches roughly. So let's go ahead and add this. It's gonna go to the top, page four. Okay. And then on the bottom, I've got another flap, and this is four and a half by eight. Four and a half by eight, and it's going to go right here on the bottom. This is the flip side, so let's go. We're gonna go ahead and put a magnet here. So I'm gonna place a magnet right there. Oh so man, I'm running out of magnets. Um... I like these glue dots, except they're hard to get off the paper, the uh, the backing. It actually only took part of a glue dot. So I'm gonna use the rest on this side. Hopefully it'll release so I can. <laughs> oh, there we go. They're really old, I've had them forever. So I'm trying to burn through them, get rid of stuff that's in my desk. And I think that when things get, especially adhesives get old, they, they don't behave. Um, predictably <laughs> like that <laughs> so it just took both pieces left it on yeah it's not liking that so I'm gonna put some tape down and do it the old fashioned way Yes, yes I can. 
Okay, I've inked the edges um, with mahogany. That's kind of my, it's not kind of, it's my absolute go-to for inking the edges. Um, I don't distress very far in. Actually, I need a little bit more here. So, um, since there's not a, a lot of overlap, I think it looks nice. If you want, to, if you like to distress into your pattern, I would recommend going a little bit lighter. This can look pretty heavy um, if you're going in. to move it up a little. Ooh, that's a little short. Both of them are. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little, little bit off here so I can use both of these. Just going to use my straight edge to do that. Let's see how I did. Well, I'd say that's just about perfect. So let's lay it down. You could try to put it in your trimmer, but I don't know. It's definitely easier with a straight edge outside of your trimmer. After a while, you can just see how much you need to cut off. You just have a more of a sense. Okay, there we go. And then I chose this from the 12 by 12 pack. It's going to be the base here. Now I've got some fussy cut flowers that I'm going to add right here to the corner. To make a little tuck spot. So I just have glue on these two edges. And then this is from the 8x8 collection pack. And um, it comes two, 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 and so I just cut straight across and made it a bifold. So I'm gonna use these two little things to tuck in here, like so. And you still have plenty of photo space. That is page four. Back soon, page five. 